Alrighty, welcome back. My name's James. We're starting to make some significant progress now and getting our radio station up and running and ready to rock. As you can see here, I've created a bunch of different playlists. I've created a breakfast show, chill out zone. We've got our default playlist, uh, evening and top 40 hour. I want to create a schedule now, which will dictate day to day what our radio station sounds like based on this set of playlists. So let's head on down to where it says schedule. Now this works just like a normal calendar. You have probably used Google Calendar or Outlook or Apple Calendar or something similar to that. And we wanted to make scheduling really second nature uh, rather than making it super complex. So it's really straightforward. You can visually see what's happening. As you can see at the moment, it's pretty blank. Uh, this is the week view. I can also switch it to a monthly view. Um, I can go backwards and forwards using these arrows here. So obviously this is going back, uh, this is going forward in future in time. And if I click on today, it will bring me to where it currently is. And this red line here will show me the time of day that it currently is. So as you can see here, I'm recording this really early for you, up right and early, and uh, we're just approaching 8.30 in the morning on a Friday. So what I want to do is, firstly, I'm going to create a breakfast show, which will repeat each and every day uh, throughout the year. Uh, and I want that to begin at 7 a.m., say, and I want it to finish at uh, 10 a.m. Okay, so you can just click and drag, just like you would normally when you add an event into your calendar on your desktop. So the other way you can create an event is by clicking the Add Event button. Now I'll talk you through this Create Event box and explain all the details. Firstly, most importantly, you have to choose a playlist. Um, I'm going to be creating a breakfast show, so I want to choose that. As you can see here, the colour that I choose on the playlist will be mirrored in the background. As I mentioned earlier, this is just for your own internal reference. If you don't want it to show um, artwork for your songs that are in your playlist, you can actually upload some artwork which will just run throughout that playlist. Let's say you'll have like a breakfast show logo or something appear instead. You can do that, that's what will show up on the player. I'm going to leave that as default for now. Um, you can choose a start time, so uh, we want it to start say at 7am every single day and we want we want it to last for you know three hours every day, so 7 till 10. And I want this breakfast show to repeat every single weekday. You can toggle these so you might want something, for example, a chill-out zone I'm going to do, which I just have on Monday nights. Uh, but for the breakfast show, I want it every weekday. Or you can have it on a, every single day as well. But let's go for a weekday breakfast show, starting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we want that to repeat every single week. And then you can choose a date in the future, how long you want this event to repeat till. In which case, obviously, you'll then need to reschedule. Um, so I'm going to just set that so it continues repeating for the next two years. If you click on advanced, there's some other options here. Uh, we'll talk you through these more as we kind of progress with the platform, but I really wanted to just give you a quick intro to how to schedule playlists to go out because it's the quickest way to get up and running. Event type, you can choose playlist. You can have a live DJ. We'll talk about that later or a relay where you can actually relay another stream. But for now, let's keep it with playlist. Overrun. Now, this is important. Uh, if you've got a playlist which is built from songs and you have a playlist that's scheduled, say, um, one hour, and the playlist is actually, uh, the last song of the playlist goes over the hour. Um, do you want it to overrun that time limit, or do you want it to just cut off? Uh, generally recommend we, say, keep this off, because otherwise your schedule can kind of go a bit funky, but sometimes there might be reasons for leaving this switched on. Uh, if you want the, the last song of the playlist to continue in its entirety before ending. Also, you can choose whether you want track information to show or do you just want this kind of playlist information to show, which I mentioned earlier when you create playlists. If you are if you have a live DJ connecting, you might want to enable the playlist so you can say that it's blah, blah, blah or on air versus just showing the uh, songs that they're currently playing. Um, that's the advanced section. I'm going to leave most of that as it is for now and I'm going to hit create event. So now what it's gone and done is it's gone and created uh, breakfast show every single day which starts today you can't schedule stuff in the past because today is a Friday you'll see that's why everything on the last few days is blank um, but if I go to uh, next week you'll see I have playlists uh, for the breakfast show on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and the week after and so on and so forth okay so let's go back to today I've got the breakfast show suddenly we're halfway through a breakfast show uh, which is great and then what I want to do is add a couple more things. So this is how you build your schedule. Uh, again, you can have a month view. Okay, so what I want to do next is I'm going to add another event. Uh, I'll skip through to next week and I'm going to go to Monday. 
and what I want to do is create a chill out zone on Monday night so we'll have it start at 6 uh, say 6 30 or 7 o'clock and we'll have it run through to like late night 9 10 o'clock and I'll again I'm going to choose a different playlist I want the chill out zone maybe I want this every week on a Monday and that's it uh, again we'll choose a, a date sometime in the future and we'll create that event all right so now every single Monday and again if I flip through to next week and the week after I'll have the chill out zone going out Monday from 6 30 p.m. through to like 10 o'clock at night and as you can see on our month view you know we can see that there as well so let's go back to today and uh, we'll, we'll schedule something else and remember when there's nothing scheduled your default playlist is going to go out so in this dead time it's just going to be your default playlist whatever's scheduled there and there's always going to be something going out the way the system's designed it's designed so even if you have no playlist created it will just randomize tracks you're never going to get dead air with radio.co which is really reassuring and it's what you want for your radio station right you want it to be 24 hours a day guaranteed uh, so finally let's just go and we'll create a event and we want this again to repeat every single day but maybe we want this every two weeks and what playlist are we going to go for we'll go for top 40 hour all right so you can see the idea um, my schedule is really rapidly starting to fill up and you know that one I've just repeated every two weeks so you can see it doesn't appear there but it does appear there really straightforward and easy to start building a schedule doesn't take long at all the only other feature I just haven't mentioned uh, which I'll quickly draw your attention to some people like to be really really granular about how often they schedule things so you can choose uh, how this is viewed um, most of the time I think every 15 minutes is kind of okay but you can actually with you can go right down to the nearest five minute interval and schedule stuff uh, you know on, on a five minute basis if you wish generally speaking most clients will leave this as defaulted to 15 minutes um, because it allows you to schedule stuff on the half hour on the quarter two etc but for, it completely depends on your requirements all right that's the scheduling tool as I said it's as simple as just using a calendar you can build a really attractive uh, format for your radio station with different types of music going out at different times of the day really completely up to you how you use this how flexible you want to be how granular you want to be it's there and it's designed to be a powerful but simple to use tool for scheduling content on your radio station just like using a calendar so next time now you've got some songs uploaded and you've got some content scheduled to go out next thing is to get some listeners how do you get listeners how do you create players for your website and how do you share your listeners and how do you share your listen links with your friends or on social media? I'm going to show you all of that, plus a little bit more, in the next video. So don't go anywhere. I'll speak to you in a little bit.